Hello YouTube viewers, I'm Gustinier951 back again with another tutorial on how to show you and actually an upgrade on how to convert Windows Live Movie Maker to Windows Live Media Player. Um, this is just another remake because a lot of people didn't like the music I put and it takes too much time, 11 minutes. So I'm going to try to show you fast and quick on how to make and how to convert it. So what you do is you open up your Windows Live Movie Maker. After you have opened it, uh, I'm pretty sure you already have your movie made, which in this case I haven't yet, which right now I'm just going to put it real quick just to make this video uh, short. Um, so once you have made your videos, put in your videos, your photos, you put in your music, you add all your little effects and all your little fun stuff um, on your Windows Live Movie Maker. You go to home, make sure you're home, which I'm pretty sure you're already there right now. And you could share it on your SkyDrive, Facebook, YouTube, MSN, or Flickr, whatever, wherever you would feel comfortable. If you just want it just for your personal use or put on a CD, put it somewhere personal for you. Um, you go right here where it says Save Movie. You click on the, don't click on the, on the little wand, but click on the little arrow right here and you'll have a list uh... recommended for this project would be just i'm i'm pretty sure it gets the picture that has the biggest screen resolution and will try to fit it perfectly to, for, your, for your biggest um, picture or video uh... hd you could uh... get it for normal video quality this is normally for quality uh, burn, you can burn in a dvd which will use the quality as for computer. Uh, you could ma um, make it for an email, but for an email, it will make the screen really small and minimize as much space, compress everything into a small file to make sure you could have enough sp uh, space to send it um, through your Yahoo, Google, doesn't really matter. You could also uh, make the movie for your mobile device. Uh, normally, a lot of people use this for computer only um, most users also use um, high definition but due to time I will use it for computer so what you do is just click on your preferred selection after you have done your uh, click on your preferred selection just save it wherever you feel comfortable with uh, right now I'm just going to save it to my desktop just to go along with the tutorial sorry for my grammar if it's wrong and after you uh, put your file name, the actual movie name, make sure this is your movie name. Um, you put save. It will start saving it, and I'll be right back when the when the when it's done um, when it's actually complete. All right, since it's already done, uh, your, it will say that your movie tutorial or whatever your name is. Uh, the, I mean, whatever your, the name of the movie is, done. Um, you could you have three options. You could either play the movie. You can open the folder where you saved it as, where you saved it at, or close the thing and just close up everything. Uh, right now, I would just open up the folder, and here it is. And it's, it's my desktop. I really don't need to know the direction of where it is. Um, so if you want to save it and edit still, I highly recommend when you exit. Yes, you save it, and I'll just go along with it. So you save your your um move, not the actual movie, but the movie editing with all this um what is like movie maker. You save it to a place where where you like. Um, so I'll just save it just for future reference. And now that and now that you have your um your your video. You, you can finally have it in dot .wmb but I have been um, also receiving a lot of comments on how do you really um, how do you really um, convert it instead of dot .wmb how do you convert it to AVI or mp4 a lot of people have been um, bothering me about that so what you do is that once you're once you get the dot .wmb video done um, get that video and in the in the description below you will see um, a link to any video converter this program it converts any videos to whatever you um 
like. I need to upgrade this thing. I'm pretty sure they have more options now. To version 3.27. Um, once you have downloaded that, I will. There, I think there's another video on my on my channel that shows you what how you how you work with this thing. So what you do, uh, you go on your right side, and as you can see, there's the .wmv. You get your video, the one that you just made. You click and drag it onto the white screen right here. After that, you click go here where it says .wmv or whatever or whatever video, and you choose your preference .avi, .mp4, .asf. Really, your choice doesn't matter. As right now, I'll just say that I want it .avi. You click on date.avi. You can also use it for audio files only, mobile phones, burning to a DVD, which you could have done that in the in Windows Media Player, in Windows Movie Maker. But right now, we'll just leave it as video files. And if you're converting a lot of files, you could just click and not sure which one it is. You can just click on one, highlight it, and just click on the play. And it will show you a little preview of it. And if it is the one, you can just check it, uncheck it, doesn't really matter. So just make sure you have to check the video that you want to convert and hit the convert button and normally what this does is that it starts getting information from the video it will start ripping out the audio ripping out the picture then um, join it together again and convert it to a dot avi as you can see right now it is a wmv3 so i'll be right back so now that it's uh, done with uh, converting it you can just put no thanks and it will open up the file where you have saved it at. As you can see, a lot of videos I have playing right here. I'll just drag it to your di my desktop. You just exit from both, and now now that you have your um video, you now have it as .dot avi. So uh. I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for watching my tutorial and hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.